How to connect two different server rack batteries to the same system. What about customer support? How do I upgrade the firmware? Where can I find the tutorial? Is it compatible with my inverter? Does it require a firmware upgrade? Guys, don't worry. Today, we'll address all your concerns about the 48 volt, 100 amp hour server rack battery once and for all. If you want to connect eco-worthy server rack batteries to an existing system, here's what you need to know. In most cases, batteries from different brands cannot communicate with each other, but you can still use them together as long as you pay attention to the following points. First, the battery specifications must be the same. Only batteries with the same specifications can be connected in parallel. Echo-worthy batteries are made of a 16 series LifePro 4 cells with a capacity of 100 amp hours. Therefore, any battery connected in parallel must also be a 16 series LifePro battery with a capacity of 100 amp hours. Before connecting, make sure all the batteries are at the same resting voltage level. The voltage difference should be within 0.1 volts. After confirming that the voltages are aligned, the second point is BMS parameter settings. If your existing battery and the eco-worthy battery have different charge, discharge parameters, we recommend setting the whole system to a more conservative voltage window. That is, use the lower charge cutoff and the higher discharge cutoff. This helps protect the batteries and extend their lifespan with minimal capacity loss. Third, check communication method. When you connect batteries from different brands, the system can work in two ways, open loop or closed loop. In an open loop setup, there's no data exchange between the batteries and the inverter. Everything just runs based on voltage and current settings. The eco-worthy battery simply joins in and works alongside your existing system. In a closed loop setup, your original main battery is still in charge of talking to the inverter. The eco-worthy battery just runs in parallel. It doesn't replace the main controller. If your existing battery does not support closed loop communication with the inverter, the eco-worthy battery can serve as the main battery in your system to establish closed loop communication with the inverter, making your system more intelligent. Many customers wonder which inverters can work with eco-worthy batteries in closed loop communication. Eco-worthy batteries support dozens of other inverter brands and their protocols. In this video, we'll introduce how to establish closed loop communication between the eco-worthy battery and popular inverters such as the EG4, SolArc, and SunGold Power. Before starting the communication setup, make sure the following. First, they support the same communication protocol. Second, the inverter and the battery use matching communication ports. Third, you're using the correct communication cable. On the EcoWorthy server rack battery, both the RS-85 and the CAN ports can be used to connect with inverter. By default, the communication protocol is set to pylon, which is the most widely supported battery to inverter protocol. Now let's look at how our batteries connect with some of the most common inverter brands on the market. For the SolArc 12K and 15K inverters, if you haven't changed the default communication protocol, all you need to do is connect the inverter's CAN bus port to the battery's CAN port using a standard ethernet cable. No additional settings are required. The closed loop communication will be established automatically. However, if you've previously changed the communication protocol, please switch it back to pylon. Once the communication is established, you'll be able to view the battery's SOC data and other detailed information directly on the inverter screen. For the EG4 6000 XP, 12000 XP, 12 KPV, and 18 KPV, set option three to lithium and choose battery brand two, pylon, or six, lux power. If you select option six, the lux power, on the inverter, make sure to change the battery's CAN protocol setting to lux. Finally, connect the inverter and the battery CAN ports with the standard ethernet cable to establish communication. For SunGold Power, SPH 5048P, 6548P, 8048P, and 148P, set parameter 32 to 485 and 33 to pylon. Use the customized communication cable provided by EcoWorthy to connect with the battery. For details, please contact our support team. For other inverter brands not mentioned here, if you're unsure about the compatibility, simply contact our support team, provide the brand and the model, and we'll confirm compatibility and the proper communication method for you. Firmware upgrades can bring performance improvements, stability enhancements, and sometimes even unlock new features. So when should you upgrade? If a new version fixes known bugs or improves compatibility, we recommend upgrading. But if it only adds support for hardware you don't use, upgrading isn't necessary. For detailed firmware upgrade steps, please check out our previous video. It shows exactly what tools you'll need, where to download the software, and walks you through the entire process. 
If you still encounter any problems, feel free to contact our support team for assistance. And that's our fact breakdown for the eco-worthy 48 volt, 100 amp hour server rack battery. If you still have questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll continue to bring you practical energy solutions. Thanks for watching.